it. Jesus? It's kind of blinding me now. Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So by the title you guys already saw, it's what's in my church bag. And it's a lot today. So just a reminder, everything in this bag is not always what I carry when I go to church. I added a few things in there and I'll explain why just so um, everybody knows that there's times where I'll take things in a different bag and then there's times where I'll take things in this bag or whatever bag I find or whatever bag I use for my outfits. Um, which reminds me, let me know if you guys want to see a, um, I guess we could do a winter or maybe like a spring lookbook. I was actually watching some a couple nights ago and I was like, maybe I should do one. I have a lot of clothes, according to my family. So, let's get right into it. What I take to church are always notebooks, notebooks, notebooks. I love taking notes. I feel like I have so many, it's just... I always find like a cuter one each time, which is probably really bad of me. We love Marshalls for that little habit of me always buying new notebooks. So my mom found this one and then she was like, hey, this one would be really cute for you. Like exactly what you're looking for. Excuse my dogs if you hear them bark also. Um, so she's like, yeah, this one would be really cute for you. It's everything that you're looking for. I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, I saw it. Um, I just put it back because the retail price was like $14.99. And she was like, um, no, it says $4 on this one. So I was like, okay. So a girl who loves to bargain, I said, let me take both and let me see what they will do. So keep in mind, the one my mom found was $4. Mine that I found was like $14.99. So I went up to the line, checked out, and I told the lady, I said, you know, excuse me, like, I just need to know how much this one is because there's a different price for this one and there's many more over there. So she goes up to her boss and she was like, well, this one's like retailed and da da like giving him like the whole rundown. I'm not mad. I was real grateful because it went from 14 and 9. But then her boss was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, sometimes like, I don't know, I guess like, the people that they, ugh, I can't even talk right now. I guess the people that are in corporate for Marshalls tell them like certain prices to mark them down, which, okay, cool. I work retail. I know exactly what they're talking about. But I didn't understand with her because she tried telling me that this one was not $4. It was $4.50. It's just the one my mom found that was for $4 was only for $4 because at the time they only wanted them at $4. What? Okay. That did not make sense to me. I'm sorry. If anybody else understood that story, please let me know because I had no idea what she meant. So I was like, um, okay, so am I going to get this one for $4? And she's like, no, we're going to give it to you for $4.50. Okay. Oh, well. So what? Still have a deal. I took this one for $4.50 because the other one was kind of like beaten up a little bit. And I was like, mm, no, not about that. So yeah, so I love this one because it's exactly what I wanted. Um, I just like how it has like the cute like little strings that you can just take off. And then like you can open it and it has like so many pages in here. And the pages, like I don't know if you guys can tell, they're pretty like... Like it has like enough room to like write probably like a whole message on the front. And that's what I love to do is I love making sure I take down as many uh, as much notes as I can. And um, yeah, so I usually take my notebook. The only reason why this one's not in my purse is because it's super huge. So I just walk in looking like a little school girl when I go to church. But the next item that I do try to take with me is a water bottle. Um, I do own like for hydro flask. The only reason why I love this one is because it's right done. It's super, super cute and it says faith on it. God take it to the Lord's house when you have faith. All right, so let's really jump into the big boy. So my purse that I use is actually was given to me 
um, as a gift from my mom's friend, Karen. So thank you, Karen, because I am obsessed with this purse. I love this purse. I have used it since I got it. I actually should probably stop because it's kind of like tearing like the leather a little bit. But it's just so roomy. It has a lot of little cute different departments and like little compacts in here. So I've never owned a Calvin Klein purse yet. So I was really excited because I kind of like the way Calvin Klein purses are. Um, I've seen them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. Something you gotta know about a girl. I'm learning how to shop on a budget because I have a bad habit of seeing and buying. So we're working on it. Humbleness. Um, what it has, it has these two little cute straps right here. And then it has like a little extra long one. The only thing that I don't like about this is it's not long enough. So it like, it looks weird when I have it off my shoulder like this. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's going to also rip from everything that I put in here. So I usually, oh, I usually, uh, take it like this with me to church or I put it through my arm like this you know, legally blonde. So that's what I don't like about it kind of is just the straps I wish were a little bit longer. My mom has a Tory Burch purse that I'm trying to steal from her because I think it's super cute. And the straps on it is exactly what I want in a purse. I just haven't found the right purse, I guess yet. I'm going to be looking for the right purse, but this right now is my go-to, my favorite one. So, three spacious things. And for the first pocket that I have is gum. I drink coffee on a daily. I tried stopping, but it's an ugly addiction that I cannot get away from. So, I always bring gum with me because I'm either drinking gum, drinking gum, oh my gosh. I'm either drinking coffee <laughs> Or um, I eat something before I go to church, and usually what I eat is consists of um, Trader Joe's Everything Bagel Seasoning, and I know that has like a weird onion garlic flavor, so I don't want to go in there praising the Lord, singing hallelujah, and my garlic breath is being delivered through everybody. Let's not do that. So I always get the biggest pack because I am addicted to gum addicted i used to get the was it number like the five gum experiment but extra experiment i don't know what it is recently since i think almost two years ago my best friend val got me into this one because she would always carry this one in her car and her purse and i just i guess now i'm just addicted to it so i'm gonna thank her for that one and um your girl's circle of life started like i told you guys in the last video that's why my face was breaking out so bad um so when that happens i do carry a bag and it has my little feminine fem feminine then girl products because your girl can't say feminine oh there you go so I have my feminine products in here. Um, I will not pull those out because I don't want to get demonetized. But I will pull out Pamperin. Oh, I love this thing. Sorry for the glare. I don't know why it's so bright. Pamperin, 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 Pamperin. I don't know what this does to me. But if I take one the night before church or I mean, even the night before anything, before I go to work, before I go out the next morning, I could you not, I feel like there's no cramps in the world. Um, my Thea uses this. Well, she used to use it when we were younger. My cousin used to use it, or I don't know if she still does, but I remember them saying like, Oh yeah, like this helps with like cramps, migraines, headaches. Like it's just a multi-purpose symptom. Take care of it. Get it gone. Get it going away. So I do carry this with me um, when needed because I know I do feel... I do get kind of nauseous. I get sick um, during um, my cycle. So let me know if you guys have any like home remedies or something um, that could help me with that because I don't always like taking pills. Um, hand lotions. I Could you not... 
I don't carry both of them. I just carry one at a time. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Oh, it smells amazing. A little side note, I sold this to my sister. So, she's watching this. Thank you. And then I bought this one from Marshalls. It is the, ap the apricot scent. And I love the way this one smells. And, oh my. Jesus! It's kind of blinding me now. Sorry, I'm like right... I had to get good lighting, so I came close to my window, and now it's just blinding me. Huh? Okay, let me... I'll move closer. It's not going away! Ah! <laughs> oh. The Lord said, child, you shall be bright and right. Ah! A few moments later. In the middle compartment, I do carry body spray. Ah. This is the Victoria's Secret One Sexy Angel. It smells beautiful. Oh my. Yes. I do put on perfume before I go to church. I carry body spray because like I say, like I said, when the Holy Spirit is speaking and you start dancing, you don't want to come out smelling like sweat. So, we're going to we spray ourselves, okay ladies? Next one is going to be my church notebook. This one is actually by Harper and Willow. Um, she is a YouTuber as well. Her name is Jess. She is married to this famous viner back in the day named Gabriel. And Jess is actually from Australia. Her testimony is so beautiful. I love them. If you haven't seen her, I'll link her channel down below. Um, so you can check her and her husband out. The most beautiful Christian couple I've ever seen on TV. A TV. Haha. <laughs> on YouTube. People mistake this as me having makeup in my purse. But honest to God, it's my pen pouch holder. I carry all kinds of pens and highlighters and stuff in it. I do own Bible highlighters. So like it says Bible on it. My cousin had told me about these ones when I first got my Bible. Well, not my very first Bible, but I got a newer Bible. And I was like, oh, I hate when like the ink links through and stuff. So she's like, oh, they have Bible highlighters. I was like, really? That's cool. So I actually picked me up some of these. I also carry my beautiful Holy Word. This one is the Hosanna Revival. It's super, 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 super cute. I love the way it feels. Um, I'm not really too sure what the material is made out of. I honestly don't even know what material this is, to be honest with you. Um, so on the front, it says, ah, cling to what is good, Romans 12, 9. And the back says, even so, it is well with my soul. Sorry, I got a little makeup stain on it. But I am obsessed with their Bibles. Um, I actually got these little Bible tabs from Barnes & Noble. It has little tiny sides where you can have notes being taken. And it's really fine lines. But this is like for an example right here is all of these little lines down here. I don't know if you really can see them, but they're super faint. And um, I love knowing that I'm able to take my notes when needed. I don't do it when I'm at church because... My neck starts to cramp when I do this and I can like slouch down and like get real in there because as you can tell I'm very I'm very picky how I write my notes. I'm I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm really weird like that. I just I feel like pretty handwriting in a Bible in notes is just I, I don't know, it's just more organized for me. I can't do it any other differently than that. So there's that. I will leave a link to Hosanna Revival. Their Bible is down below in the comment section. Next, I have me sunglasses, okay? My Quay sunglasses. I have been dying to own some of these. I finally picked myself some up at Nordstrom Rack. Thank you, Jesus. We love a good little bargain. They were only 50 bucks. That was during Christmas. Just love the way they are. I think what I like about these is the, it has like that blue purplish tint. So um, when I go outside or something, when I'm driving, 
I like to have them with me. It even comes with like a cute like little pocket handkerchief thing. I keep this in a bag. My mom is kind of like that. She keeps things in a bag and I guess I just picked up that small habit from her. I don't always do it, but I did do it with this one. I don't know why I have it in my hand still. Um, yeah, so I keep these two together in this little pouch thing. Uh, so I have my keys in here as well. Love my little fish tail. Oh my, my fish tail. My mermaid tail so much. So let me show you. It sticks out. Grab and go. You know what I mean? Um, I actually love the way it looks. It's so cute. I do use this a lot too. Um, just hold my keys real quick if you know I'm leaving or something. I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it has like this little cute flower on the bottom of it. I think I paid a dollar or something for it plus that 40% off coupon thing which I paid like cents for this thing which was like nothing and in this little side pocket I do carry tissue allergy season tears a lot of tears I do carry my little bar with me just in case I forgot to get any food in the morning I haven't actually had that problem yet I carry a lot of hair ties because I always lose them. I also carry Advil, ladies and gentlemen. Advil is what you need in life. The lipstick, whatever lipstick that I am wearing. So today I am wearing, I think this is the, I don't know what, who this is by. Who is this by? I got it from Target. I don't know. I don't know who this is by, but um, I got this one from Target. This is what I'm wearing right now. I actually love the color. It's super beautiful. Oh, I got lipstick on the thing. So this is the lip that I'm wearing today. We also cannot forget our Burts and Bees chappy stick coming in handy. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. Wow. That's what was all in my church bag again I don't carry all of this stuff in here I just put everything in my purse to show you guys the things that I did carry um, in different purses I have not changed my purse my church purse in a while so we might come back with a new church purse pretty soon I know I'm really harsh on like expensive things or like newer things and I really need to take care of things more so this might be put away for a hot minute and I'll probably bring out another one of my purses that I have in my closet. That was it for what's in my church bag video. I hope you guys really did enjoy today's video. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. I am excited to see where this journey takes me in 2020. Um, yeah, so I will leave... Um, any of the things or the products that I had in my purse today in the description box below. And just go ahead and let me know what you guys want to be prayed for this week. I'd love to chit chat with you guys for a little bit. Have any questions about God? Love to chit chat with you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great week, weekend, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Aloha. Jayla who? love the way Santa's little helper named Landon which is my little cousin got it for me for Christmas and I love my little fish tail I think I'm going to probably invest in a lint roller